Okay, this is lab 20, part 6.1, the sample and hold circuit. So here is the sample and hold circuit we want to build. So this is the uh, source of one channel of the analog switch. This is the drain. I think you can reverse them. This is the essentially, well, this turns it on and off, so it sort of controls the gates. So when this, let's see, I think when this is high, the switch is open, and when it's low, the switch is closed. That might be reversed. It doesn't matter for us. It's going to toggle back and forth. Tom recommends using a manual switch so you can toggle it by hand. That is kind of interesting to do in the lab, but I to make things easier, I'm using a square wave which is the same thing I did in the circuit lab circuit. So you have a switch that goes on and off, and here's the capacitor. When the switch is closed, then the capacitor charges up until its voltage is the same as the incoming signal voltage, then the switch opens. When the switch is open, the capacitor